hello. Can you hear me? I hear you perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> Always drinking. Goodbye everyone, I'm going into that room. He's writing so that you imagine pictures. He's creating, if you like, cinema for the ears. Um, and he's doing it way before any idea of e barely even a photograph um, w was possible. Take from the top. Thank you. Here he is. Stop, thief. No, no. Wait, I'm not the... No! Really nice voice. Lovely. He wanted to bring the vividness of the streets and the reality of that world into people's lives through words, through dialogue through characters, through social situations, through narrative. One of we'll just take it once more for the yes, bluffs. Please. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah, please. The important thing is to ensure Oliver's safety, rather than torment ourselves over what he's been through already. Your imagination jumps in and, and, and fills all the gaps. It goes into your ears, but all of those parts of your brain that are part of the visual cortex are still engaged and they're still doing things and they're kind of painting the pictures. Well, the beauty of it, therefore, is that people experience it completely differently. Obviously we lead them a certain way with music, and sound design, actors' performances, whatever, but because so much else is missing, all the visuals are missing, you create that for yourself. Until Oliver is safe, I'm prepared to take whatever risks are necessary. Let me at least hide in the shadows. There will be shadows, Mr. Brownlow. Shadows upon shadows. And we must delay not in making our way through them. Very good. Really nice. It's a story of innocence and the attempt to corrupt innocence and innocence maintaining itself despite all the corruption around him, you know, which makes Oliver very heroic. Mother? Your mother? Oh, gracious, no. But if you're awake, dear, I'll bring you some broth. What? What room is this? This grand bed. It was was the street I fell down. Okay. Good. There's a reason why there have been so many versions of, of Oliver Twist and Oliver Dunn, and that is because we keep being drawn back to these characters who are so vivid and so magnificently drawn. I have my snack. Okay, awesome. What is it? Eberami. Oh, I haven't had one of them in years. So you can take a bite now. Ready to do the scene. Let's go. I've been dreaming of London these past seven days, but I never, never guessed London would taste so good. It's kind of essentially immersive. You know, you do feel like you're right in it. And music-wise, what I tend to do with it is I tend to place you into the studio a little bit. So the music isn't just kind of coming at you from one place. It brings you into the music. And this lady saved me. What lady? Step closer, if you please. I will. The better to let you see the open face with which I speak the simple truth. The boy is innocent. 